Hi, Balcony. Good afternoon, welcome. Hello, my name is Kate. If you are new, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I would like to do a reading today on Kevin Albert. I thought that I've already said sacred space, called in the quarters, asked for protection in the right words. I wanna do a reading on Kevin because I thought I heard Sean say that the white Ford Focus or whatever the car is, the only person that has it is Kevin. And I saw a comment about how Chris Albert wasn't there. His only alibi is his wife. So I also, or maybe that was for John O'Keefe's brother, Paul. I, Regardless, both of those men's only alibis are their wives. So I'm not, that means nothing to me. Only because of the position these wives are in. So what we're going to do today is read on Kevin. I don't know his birthday. I don't know anything about him. And so we're just going to see what Kevin Albert What's his story? I almost feel like we'll try it. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a nudge to perhaps use the Game of Thrones cards, but I really like, all right. Well, we'll try it with these. And if I get the nudge to really change it up, we will. So today I'd like to do a reading on Kevin Albert. Just what's his story? What's going on? Oh, and if, welcome. If you're new or you're in the bleachers, welcome. I do read cards in reverse. I just don't read this deck in reverse and it's my favorite deck. So, and what else was I gonna say? I'm sure I'll think of it. If you, let's just ask Kevin Albert what his story is. Oh, we had a jumper. And I wonder if Kevin's a little bit more like the wives in Wisteria Lane. Well, this is a tough start for Kevin. Oh boy. What's Kevin's story? Does anyone know what his story is? Oh boy. Chubby Fingers is here. Okay. I'm guessing that he is an air sign. That's an Aries, Leo, or Sag. I'm just gonna make sure that you guys are on. Okay, good. All right. Uh, tough start. This is the card that jumped to me. This card means no free will. This woman to me is not walking anywhere. She's not going away. She's either just in a battle. She was just taken hostage. She, her hands are tied behind her back. She has a blindfold on. I've heard other people say like she can walk away if she wants. That's not how I read it. I also know that famous fortunes highly love him. He doesn't read cards in reverse. If you're looking for another, it's famous fortunes. He gets black magic. I saw a comment that was, was it fairy magic? I can't remember what one of our beautiful, wonderful friends said, but regardless, to me, this is not an awesome card to get in this context. Well, it's, it wouldn't be that fun anyway. We have the five of swords stealing. He has like a smug look on his face. He's perhaps he won a battle. Now, I would say that perhaps he did win a battle and he's not gonna win the war. Yeah, he, he's fight, 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 fight. We have our dead little boy. There's not much to say about that. We have a dead little boy laying on a coffin. His mom's looking at him, holding another baby. There's This is not resting and relaxing to me. If I got it in a regular reading, that's not where we are. This is duality, choice between two finger or two two decisions. He's weighing his options. 
Then we have Chubby Fingers. If you don't know who Chubby Fingers is, I saw a comment asking. There's one morbidly obese, disgusting, ugly, fat old man that's part of this. And he happens to be the puppet master in my, one of the puppet masters in my personal humble opinion. And he showed up. Who's not here that I fully expected was Benifer. <clears throat> and the reason was because when I said is maybe he has the energy more of these cop wives. And I don't mean all cop wives. I just mean uh, Nicole Albert. <clears throat> This looks to me Well, he was there, I'm guessing. You know who else isn't here? John's not here, Karen's not here. None of their archetypes are here. What's this kid Kevin like? What's his story? Is he a bully? At first I thought he was getting bullied. Hmm. Propaganda and fake news. This is the rush hour. What is, I know I always say this, but like, what is this like Russia or 1984? Change of plans, alarming. White trash, this goes back generations of trash. I don't know. I am like, yeah, he was balls deep in with his family. It's a danger zone, burial. This goes back to how many bodies are there. To me, it looks like he's a minion in a bigger, like a bigger, he takes orders from someone else. It's no one, like, He's just a cog in a wheel. I'm gonna ask for some more tarot cards on Kevin. See if I can get like a... Oh, here's Benifer. I knew it wasn't gonna be long. I mean, it, what's a reading without Benifer? <sighs> All right, now I feel like I can uh, stretch. So Benifer's here. Big day. We know. Not having Benifer here actually was a little bit like, it felt weird because I don't think he reports straight to chub Chubby Fingers. Perhaps he does. He's like a worker, he just, He's a yes man. He does what he's told. He doesn't ask any questions. He doesn't think. <laughs> he was caught in between a rocket, or he was weighing his options between two decisions. What's his family life? Like, what's his mom, or uh, we don't know. I don't want to know about his mom. What's his wife story? So this card is our Ten of Cups. In the Idaho 4 case, this always came out. It was such a mocking card. Our dis some of our decision makers, the living roommate, one of she always got this. And it was just kind of a F you to us. Well, okay. Now we're back in the, now we're back to regular. Here's the real Benefer. Well, one's Jen McCabe and what's Brian now? Oh, he's the hermit. No one does anything, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you right now that Benifer does not make decisions on her own. She is part of another half. And I mean, look at, what's his name? J-Lo and Ben Affleck, Benifer. It's two names, Jennifer and Ben. Jennifer and Brian. Um, oh boy, what is, what's this guy's story? I mean, here we have a page. This to me, I certainly could be Colin Albert. He's a wand and 
This is death. Oh, here's Benefer, Queen of Swords. The archetypes of the swords to me are psychosociopath. And if anyone here like has some other archetype that they think is a better one, let me know. But it, to me, is it can represent. I'll just tell you right now, air does not, like water needs a base to flow, okay? The earth is already grounded. Fire needs the ground or it needs something to burn, to go. Air doesn't, air flows around. They're not gonna be asking you to make them breakfast in the morning, put it that way. Here's the party. Here's another page. What's this? Oh, you guys, you guys, wait. Before I say this. All right, so Kevin, I want to write this question down because I want to ask it. One of the questions that someone asked Sean was, is Brian Colin's real dad? That would make way more sense than... I don't know. Chris is not cool anyway, but I'm going to write that question down because I don't want to forget to ask it. Colin and Brian. <laughs> All right. So I don't know what Kevin's story is. Kevin to me is a cog in a wheel. He takes orders. Perhaps he was reporting straight to chubby fingers, but then Benefer literally came in in every capacity that they could. We have children on here though that I don't I don't like that. I mean we have the Page of Swords and we have the Page of Wands. And this is Colin's I think Colin is an Aries, that's a fire sign. This is sword, this is an air sign. We have a dead little boy. We have death. The word death is right here. I mean this whole family is just they probably were beat. I'm not saying this like to be funny or anything. I bet their dad was a huge bully, like an alcoholic or something. Let's just say that their home was not full of love. So they, because it, bullies are just insecure. Chris Albert, I love it when Sean calls him Chrissy. Chrissy Albert. Um, so they're bullies. They, they're insecure and they have daddy issues or mommy issues. These guys have daddy issues, I think. And they're bull they're bullies. And it's, I mean, if you are a bully, you just aren't, you need love. When you're on the other side of the bully though. But anyway, these guys are all just bullies because they're insecure. They have way big daddy issues. Something happened to that home. I don't know if his parent, I don't know if there's alcoholism in there. The, it was a really violent, unstable home. I don't know what his parents' story is, but something, there's something wrong with these three brothers. When Dr. John over at um, Hidden Gem, no, she calls everyone the gems. Hidden true crime, okay. Dr. John has said in the past, when you have one child that's an alcoholic or an addict, then that's just goes par for the course. When you have three children or more than two that are alcoholics, I'm going to use delinquents here though. There is something wrong, not wrong, wrong isn't the right word. There's something in their family system that they didn't learn the coping skills. So these guys are bullies. And no, and I watched like Rita and stuff. They're real bullies and, and they have like really, I mean, birds of a feather. Like you never hear about the free care and read people doing anything. And these guys are way unhinged. They're throwing bleach and stuff. Like, no, it's so trashy. 
So I think that there's a serious problem in this um, Albert home growing up. I have no idea how many brothers there are. Oh, someone said there are like seven or eight. I don't want to, I'm just gonna say, I think that When the Catholic Church had to do their sweep, my whole family had to get interviewed by the police. It was like started in Boston and my little brother was an altar boy. We had to talk. I am not, what I feel like is there's something like that in something like on top of a very chaotic, I'm getting alcoholism or I feel like his dad wasn't stable. There's something here that is like the children didn't feel safe and they also had a predator around them. I don't know if it was a priest. I don't know. But what I do feel is there was someone that touched these, something happened to this, these kids. That's more than an alcoholic dad who's a complete asshole and probably beat the shit out of them, honestly. They learned, this is like learned behavior and it's a family structure. So Kevin is just, I mean, he's a cog in wheel. He saw the dead guy. I mean, he saw, whoa, that was weird. I don't mean the dead guy. He saw John dead. What I wanna know is who carried John and where did he go? That was the other idea that I had, okay. John's, you know, I should probably before I just, okay, so in conclusion, I mean, Kevin Albert, there is a, and when I was making, I did make fun of them, Chrissy, Chris Albert, if you're watching this, I, I'm being as, trying to be as respectful as possible. I would probably go to counseling if, before you get to slammer, that you're not out of that boat, I'll tell you that, but I, think it's something serious like yes their dad this is an assumption no facts here do your own research if anyone knows they'll let me know I think the dad was probably an alcoholic and he was violent he was mean he somebody these little boys were like beaten there's something very ominous here on top of a situation that was like a touching situation that was because there was so much chaos in the house. There was like a predator around them. I don't know if it was a priest. I don't know if it was a coach. Maybe the dad, himself. I have no idea. But these boys, I mean, they're like little third grade bullies in adult bodies. That's because they were, they're, I feel like they were stunted from whatever age this happened at. I don't know if Brian's the oldest, I think Chris is just a sociopath. And if you're watching Chris, hey, uh, that's not defamation, that's my opinion. No facts here, everyone do your own research. But I think that he, I'm getting it happen to Brian and Brian's probably the most sensitive out of all of them or the most vulnerable, something happened. And then he grew and he was scary because he didn't want to ever feel like that again but it's still just a little boy who needs a hug. So I don't know, Kevin, yeah, Kevin was there. Kevin had to make decisions. He answers to his brother and not you, Chris. He also answers to my chubby fingers, Morrissey. I don't know what's going on with his family life. I don't know if he's married, but he's a fighter too. Delinquent. That's what I think they all are. So, I mean, I, I guess we could go through it. There's not that much to say. There's nothing new here, of course. No one's bringing anything new to the table. I mean, okay, we have Colin Albert, perhaps another, a little boy that's fighting. We have a happy home. And in most readings, I would say this is like a happy home. In this reading, I mean, anything Idaho for, this is a, this is like, if the tarot deck could tease you, this is what this is in the Idaho 4 case. Preparing for battle. Death. I 
couldn't get any clearer. So the dead little boy, we have someone. It looks like he's smug and he defeated someone. So we have someone being held against their will. Maybe Kevin is being held against his will, but that's like the, in uh, the Nuremberg trials, all of the sergeants, lieutenants, anyone in positions of power that tried to say the, I was obeying orders, the allies didn't want to hear it. And then we have the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords. We have Benefer again. We have Rush Hour, moving people, places, things, moving people, product, and money. We have propaganda and fake news. We have some kind of marriage. Oh. Wait a second. Let me, okay, then I have, a, I want to ask the cards a question. <sighs> Family, grandparent, someone's alive. I don't know what that means. Danger, uh, there's a red flag, burial. How many bodies are hiding in Campton? Canton, Canton. <laughs> Change of plans and here's chubby fingers. So, I mean, I don't know what, Kevin to me, maybe he's scared of his brother. He's not innocent and he didn't stand up. I mean, I get the family code, but when is enough enough? And the question I just wanted to ask the cards, I'm gonna ask if I can ask it. It, it might, it's not relevant, I don't think. And I think that's why I'm just gonna ask if I can ask it and Without a doubt. Okay. The question that I was thinking was, is Kevin, does Kevin like men? And the reason, oh, I already think that, I mean, Brian Albert was grabbing boy. I mean, they're playing grab ass in a bar and maybe they're straight, but maybe they're not. Um, oh, I bet that came with a lot of shame in his family. It probably wasn't okay well back then too. All right, is, I guess, I don't even like asking these questions. It makes me uncomfortable. I'm just gonna ask if Kevin likes dudes. Oh, pretty clear. Yep, for sure. Okay, so maybe that's what it is. He's not living in his true self, perhaps. If he's married and to a woman, um, he's not being true to himself. So that's it for Kevin. Kevin's just a uh, part of the, I don't know. I guess send them all love and light is the only thing to do. They're little boys and grown man bodies. Chris, make a shrink appointment before you go to the slammer. I don't know. If you have any other questions specifically about Kevin, let me know. That's it, that's what I got. Nothing really, nothing. He didn't really bring anything to the table. He was there though. He saw the dead little boy. Oh, maybe he helped carry him. Cause didn't his, when Lucky drove by the house at two, wasn't his car there or something? You know who will have that timeline is um, truth and transparency. All right, if you have any other questions on him, let me know. Love you.